Okay, next is sales mix and quantity variance, which is just like material mix and yield variance, but the yield is called quantity here. So let's look at a question and then I will explain what sales mix and yield uh, quantity variance is. So calculate sales volume variance, uh, the sales mix variance and sales quantity variance. We have uh, Just Desserts Limited Mix and sells two products, Chocolate Crunch and Strawberry Sunday. The budgeted sales and profits are as follows. So we have budgeted sales of 400 units and 300 units, revenue 8,000 and 12,000, cost 6,000, 11,000 and 2,900 is the profit. The profit per unit is five. If you take five multiply by 400, it should give you 2,000. If you take 3 multiplied by 300, it should give you 900. Actual sales were 280 units of chocolate crunch and 630 units of strawberry sundae. The company management is able to control the relative sales of each product through allocation of sales effort, advertising, and sales promotion. Uh, sales promotion expenses. So you calculate sales volume variance. We already studied what is sales volume variance, yeah? So sales volume variance we studied was looking at whether we sold more or less units than budget. If we produce, if we sold more units, it means more sales. Uh, so fair, but if we sold less units, less sales adverse. Now the sales volume variance, just like material usage variance, can be divided in further two parts which is sales mix variance and sales quantity variance, okay? Material mix variance, what we studied, was looking at whether we use more expensive material or less expensive material. So sales mix variance is just like that. What we are looking at here is uh, different products. Now if you look at chocolate, Crunch, it has $5 profit. If you look at Strawberry Sun, it has $3 profit. So if we sell more chocolate crunch, it would be favorable. If we sold more Strawberry Sunday, then it would be adverse. So for these sales mix and quantity variance, there should be condition, okay? So condition number one is, there should be two or more units So, okay? And the second condition sh should be, there should be a standard mix, sales mix. Sales mix means, like in this case, for every four units of chocolate, three units of strawberry salad is so they should give us this information of mix. For example, if they told us 700 units both, that is not a mix. So there should be specific quantities. So if we sold more chocolate crunch, it gives us more profit per unit, we would have a fair value mix. If we sold more strawberry sundae, which gives us less profit, our mix variance would be adverse. Now what is quantity variance? Quantity variance is the overall total sales. Now if the budget budgeted sales here, you can see as 700 units if you add both of them. Yeah? So if we, if we sold more than 700 units, we would have a favorable quantity variance. If we sold less than uh, 700 units, we would have uh, adverse quantity variance. Doesn't make sense. So, sales mix variance, selling different units than standard margin, and sales quantity variance, selling, selling overall more or less quantity than budget. Okay. So, required calculate the sales volume variance, sales mix variance, and sales quantity variance.
So, what, just like what we did in previous question, we are going to take actual quantity actual yes. We have two parts, chocolate crunch and strawberry sundae. Let's call this CC and then SS. We actually sold how many units? We sold 280 units of chocolate crunch and 630 units of strawberry sundae. Okay. Six eighty. Uh, sorry, two eighty and six thirty. So this is the total sales. Okay. So I'm going to put CC and SS here. So the profit per unit we are earning on this one is five and on this one is three. Okay. Now this is actual quantity sold in uh, actual mix. What if we had sold these quantities in standard mix? Yeah. What is standard mix? Standard mix is four units of this is sold and three units of this. Yeah, 400 or 300 of you, you can say 4 and 3. So total units in a mix is 70. Okay. So if we take these total quantities, which is 9, 10, if we had sold them in mix, which would be 7, 4 units would be related to chocolate crunch. So this total sales that we made, if we had sold them in standard quantity, Three units per seven unit will be relating to uh, strawberry sundae. So at the end, the total quantity should be same. So if we sell more chocolate crunch, we would have a favorable variance. But as you can see, in standard, we should have sold 520 chocolate crunch, but actually we sold 280. We should have sold 390 strawberry sundae, but we sold 630. So we have sold more non-profitable products and less, less profitable products. So our mix should be adverse. Remember, in material we were talking about cost. Here we are talking about revenue or income. So more would mean good. So this is actual quantity in standard mix. Okay. So multiplying by the price, we have quantity multiplied by profit. Remember we multiply by profit, yeah? Not by selling price. If you write this here, yeah. And then copy this. And it will be easier. This is why your columns and stuff, every calculation that you're doing, have same space. And you can just copy and paste. It will be linked automatically, yeah. Because I've already linked that. So we could have earned 2600, but we earned 1400. Okay, which is 1200 less. So let me take this in minus that so that my adverse is a negative. Yeah, the adverse shouldn't be negative. You have to write with it. It doesn't have to be negative. Okay. So we have, we could have earned 1200 more. We could have earned 720 less. On this one, we earn more than we should have. On this one, we earn less than we should have. So overall, we 
we could have earned profit of 3,770, but because of the actual mix, we have made profit of 3,290. So that both combined gives you 7,000. Yeah? Doesn't make sense. What? No, 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 minus. Just minus. And these individual, when you add, they should give you the same answer. See, if I'm adding it, boom. Should give you the same thing. Okay. So this is your sales mix variance. So, just like that. If you work from bottom to the top, then it is easier. Okay? Personally, for me, if I work from bottom up, the question becomes easier for me. Yeah? I don't get confused. Now you need cells here, no problem. Now, what was the budgeted sales? Budgeted sales was 400. And seven. Yeah. So combine. Sorry, three hundred. Combine seven. So multiplying by the profits. Can just copy. See the benefit of using same space as this. Now, the standard, the budgeted uh, quantity, now this is standard uh, quantity standard mix. Now, our budgeted sales was 400 units of CC and 300 units of SS. So, if we look at the uh, budgeted sales, which is 700 units, and actu actual sales is 910 units, so overall sales that we have made is more. Okay? So in budget we had 2000 revenue, but in actual we have 2600 if we had sold in standard mix. We would have earned, we would have earned 2600 revenue if we had sold them in standard mix. We haven't earned that much revenue because of the mix variance. But now we are just talking about the quantity. So if we have we had sold in the standard mix, we would have earned 2600, uh, which is 600 more revenue, yeah? This should be even positive. Does it make sense? 600 more revenue. We have a negative figure here because of the mix variance. If our standard mix was same as actual mix, we would have earned 2600 profit. Does that make sense? Just looking at the quantity, we could have earned, uh, the budget said 900 profit, but actually we have 1170. That if we had sold in standard mix. It is not like this because we didn't sell them in standard quantity. Okay, that we explain in mix. So overall we have so this is all in total here. We have eight seventy more profits in terms of sales quantity. We don't have 870 more profit because there was a mix variance. If this mix variance was not there, we would have earned 870 more profit. If we add both of them, even though our mix was adverse, it means we sold more cheaper units than uh, expensive units or uh, more non-profitable units than profitable units. But the overall output that we achieved, the overall quantity that we sold, was more. That 
help us more revenue. So overall, we earn 390 more profit than budget in terms of sales. Now, after you minus the cost or whatever variances there is, it will give you actual profit, which is an operating statement. Okay. So this is the total sales volume variance. Okay. If we wanted to calculate it separately, remember we take the standard sales FCC and SS 400 units of these, 700 units of these. Profit on this one is 5, profit on this one is 3. So We have 4,100 budgeted. But actual is 280. Copy, paste, just changing figures. 630. Okay, 300. 700 is total. We would have more, made 2,000 profit on CC, but we made actually 1,400 on CS, which is less than budget. We could have more nine, made 900 profit on SS, but we have made 1,890. Overall, we could have made 2,900 profit, but we made 3,290, which is more than standard. Yeah, that should give us 390. Which is okay. Do this sub calculation even if it is a ask just to see whether your calculation is correct or not. Okay, it doesn't take that much time. This is easier to understand. Yeah, this could be a little bit complicated, but this can be used as proof as well. But in this question, they have asked specifically calculating the sales volume variance, mixed variance, and quantity variance. But in fact, when we add both of them, it gives us volume variance. Does it make sense? Yeah? 